this map I'm about to show you guys is the best way to warm up your aim in season four. It helps you with like your shotgun aim, every single weapon, and then like it has a new feature. Well, it's created by Raider Four Six Four, and it has like a new feature where like you can try to shoot at your enemies while they're gliding. So it helps with hitting people in the air. I'm gonna start off with the shotgun as you guys know I recently switched to keyboard and mouse so like my aim is not that great so that's why I've been like practicing this map I try to hop on and do this map every day for like 10 minutes 20 minutes at least just running through everything trying to practice my aim you guys can see right here like I'm not that good <laughs> missing like all my shots but over time as i do this more and more i'll definitely get better And where I got this map from was, everyone knows him, you know, it's Jerry and everybody loves that man. All your Fortnite tips and tricks go to Jerry and Papa Jerry gave me this code and I, I don't know what I would do without it. After a while of doing shotguns, I ran like four, maybe five rounds. With the pump shotgun, I decided it's time to like switch to my AR and I feel like the best thing I'm good at with keyboard and mouse is um, tracking. I mean, it, it's not that amazing, but I feel like for right now, I mean, I don't know, but within AR, because I feel like I'm not that bad if an enemy's at like medium range, I could hit them a lot just like I'm doing right now. So I gotta practice on that a lot. And after a little bit of doing that like medium range AR spray, I decided it's finally time to get some close range AR in. And I did it in a cone because one of the things I try to practice a lot ever since I switched to keyboard and mouse was peace control. I always try to uh, take their wall and then as soon as I take their wall, I place a cone. So like I really need to get my AR aim better when I'm in a cone because even though I can take their wall, and I can do the peace control and I can take the cone, the aim is still not there, so I need to work on that. After I run through the close range ARs for a little bit, it's finally time to, you know, start using SMGs. Oh. There we go. Took us a little bit of time to start attacking. I think you have to do something really quick, but SMG swapping is something I need to get used to doing as soon as I shoot my pump and I do a good amount of damage Remember to switch to your SMG. I need to get that muscle memory down Really when you switch from controller to keyboard and mouse, it's all about muscle memory You know you gotta Your muscles gotta remember to press this button how to do this how to do that a lot of the times the thing I the things I struggle with is pressing the right button. Sometimes I like miss press a button and I do that like all the time. I need to get better at that. And right here we're running through the same scenario but with a different gun. Like I said the best way to improve your aim even as a controller player even with aim assist there's nothing wrong with having good aim in general the person i'm playing with is on controller right now 
and he's sticking the controller I think so he's gonna beat me a lot of the time but the more and more I do this the more and more I'll improve even he he was a little skeptical skeptical about doing this because he's like oh I have aim assist but I'm like there, there's nothing wrong with improving your aim no matter what input you're on I know that I definitely need this And even now, I know it seems weird that we're like practicing with AUGs, but you really never know. And like, I think AUGs need to be practiced too, just like ARs, so AUGs and like SCARs work differently. How accurate you have to be with your AUG other than your AR, which you can just kind of like spray out everywhere. Two different weapons. Gotta, you know, move around, do different stuff with both the weapons can't just use one and expect to be good at both And this right here I believe is the last thing we did and I feel like it's really important to practice this because I feel like a lot of people fail to realize how many times you get in a situation like this where you're on high or you're on low ground and you both are sitting on cones I think I feel like this is a very important thing to practice and that's why we're doing it so if you're gonna play this map don't neglect this one right here because this can come in handy too not only does it improve your aim but it helps you like learn to bob and weave around cones and like dodge your opponent shots and stuff shots and stuff i don't think we got to do the the gliding the new mechanic raider 464 added and i'm sorry i couldn't show it in this video i think we just forgot to do it honestly or he had to leave but whether or not I still got in some good practice for keyboard and mouse and if you're gonna use this map make sure you use like every weapon try out everything and get a set routine down that you're gonna do next time I'm gonna definitely do the glider thing and I won't forget to do it but this time I did forget to do it though This is the last round that we have and if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and make sure you drop a comment too I want to see all the new comments drop a comment saying you're new saying whether or not you enjoyed the video uh, this is my first time doing like like audio recorded so like tell me if you like it yeah and drop a like drop a comment all that and yeah thank you guys for watching